You're listening to Maximum Medicine Radio with host Doc Martin. Stay tuned in or call in. You won't want to miss what's happening next. How do you step into your maximum potential? How do you connect your spiritual drive with your physical path? Stick around as Doc Martin takes listeners on a journey through the seen and unseen, the accepted and the unbelievable. Get ready to meet the maximum you the world needs on Maximum Medicine Radio with Doc Martin now. Hi, everybody. It's Doc Martin. I have something different planned for tonight. So I've got my headset on because I'm going to be in like a command central with a couple of laptops going. And anyway, so bear with me. I want us to take what I call a moment of rest. And for me, the rest technique is what we're going to do tonight. It's an energetic technique using my stone allies, um, which I love, and they come with a whole lot of wisdom. But I came upon this in the wee hours of the morning when I get my downloads, and I was told there is a REST technique, capital R-E-S-T. And the R-E, I was told, stands for reset, and the S-T stands for stabilize. So I'm going to do an energetic process for the majority of this hour where we're going to reset our energy fields using my stone helpers. I'm going to set the shamanic energy field. And then we're going to switch over to the stabilization with a separate set of helpers. Now, I have become a total fan of stones. As some people like... Uh, to call in angels. Some people like to deal with the fairy and elemental world. Some people are fans of dragons, as I am. But when I really, really want to set the energetics, I use my stone helpers. And I should say that they're more than helpers. They're really in charge of the whole thing. And I came to meet them when I was doing my shamanic training with the Four Winds. And we had to choose stones to be our sacred element in our medicine bundle. And Brittany's calling in. I'll be with you in just a second. So we're going to call in the stone helpers. And I have found that they have powerful, powerful energy. After all, they've been part of the earth for billions of years. And prior to that, they were part of the stardust. So what we're going to do tonight is go into energy mode. And I want you to stay there. Even when I take a break, Jacob's going to play some mellow music for you. And then we're going to do the stabilization technique. So this is all about deepening because our energy bodies need some restoration. So I want you to join in. And when you call in, and Brittany, I'll be with you in just a sec. I want you to keep it short and sweet because this isn't time for analyzing. This is time for where can you join in to the energetic field that I'm establishing here tonight. And I will bring you in even if you're not physically present. So Brittany, how can I help? Are you on the line? Brittany, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello. Hi. Hi. What can Hi. I do for you? I'm just calling in. I'm just calling in to see if I could potentially get an energy reading today. So, yes, it's going to be a little different than a personalized energy reading that you that I've done before. We're going to be dropping into the rest technique. And when we get into the first part of it, when I sense where you, your field needs help, I will make sure to bring you into that spot. So we haven't started yet. If you, 
and you don't have to stay on the phone. I've, I've got you, I feel you. And when we're continuing this, um, when we start the process, I'll make sure to bring you where I think you'll get the most benefit, but you will benefit from everything else. So I'm happy to help and nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. Have a good show. Okay, thank you. So here's what the general process, regardless of whether you actually call or text on Facebook or send any kind of message, be with the stones tonight. They have power that shocked me and was beyond my understanding until I worked with them for a while. Feel the energetics. Stay with the flow. Even if someone else has an issue and wants to join in, just know that that is part of the big field and you don't have to get um, juicy, <laughs> spicy about someone else blocking the flow. It's all good. It's all beautiful. And when you do text in or call in, then if you have a quick issue like um, I'm really struggling with work. Jacob will pass that on to me. We will pull you in where it feels the best for you, but everything else will be of benefit. I'm sure of it. So Jacob, let's switch over to the table now, if we will. All right, everybody. I want you to drop in right now and let your stress go. This is a time for rest. We're going to reset your field in the first part of this energetics. And then we're going to stabilize it. And I've chosen stone helpers tonight specifically for the reset technique and then specifically for stabilizing. Call your helpers if you need them here. Know that the space that I've created here is sacred. And know that when you join, only the highest happens for you. And bring yourself deep and deep and deep with your breath, just letting your stress go. And I've brought flowers just to remind us of the beauty that's what we've got to feel in our rest. When we reset, we've got to feel the beauty and get out of our heads and the craziness that involves us. And let's start with red jasper. Now these stones have a specific meaning and flow, but it's also, I've also chosen it to bring in the colors the colors of the rainbow body, the colors that are associated with the chakras. So feel red jasper and feel the red in your vibratory field. Feel your energy body tapestry and let red permeate. And feel the power and strength of red jasper. This is a solid grounding stone. This is a stone that you stand up and own your place in the world. Red Jasper is not immovable, but solid enough to withstand the forces that batter us every day. And bring that red, bring the power of red jasper in for you. And breathe it in. An ally of the deepest recesses of the rocks of the earth, of the depth of the mountains, part of the jasper family that gives us so much beauty in the different kinds of jaspers. 
and just breathing that beautiful red. And then we have wolfenite. Can you see the gorgeous orange? Kind of shimmery crystalline. These are crystals of wolfenite on a background of, I really don't know what. And wolfenite has clarity, but clarity of the kundalini coming up from the earth. And Brittany, I feel you here. Clarity of bringing the power of the earth up through your body to bring forth creation. Wolfenite is a dancing, crystalline, beautiful orange. So feel that power of creation. Feel that coming through your field. And Brittany, standing on the earth, and for everybody listening, is so important to draw up source, draw up help and energy from the earth, and just take it all the way up to the heart chakra and on to the crown chakra. And as you do that, you're the force, the channel of your life force will be opened and empowered. And then you can handle the day and you can bring forth the gifts that you bring to the earth. And that's wolfenite that I love. I love very much. I think it's very beautiful. And the beautiful orange to add to our tapestry, our energy body tapestry. And just breathe that orange in. And each of these colors is resetting threads of your energetic tapestry and resetting your field. And moving now to sulfur, gorgeous, gorgeous yellow, sun yellow. Even though sulfur has a smell and we may think that's not so great, it is a key elemental component of our cells and biochemical processes. It's a key element in the workings of the earth. All of the cellular processes, sulfur is very important. And I love this yellow because it's very much like sunlight. So just feel the sulfur nourishing your cells, your biochemistry, the collagen of your fibers. It's a very physical stone. Restoring your actual physiology. And just feeling that yellow and then taking that yellow color all through your field, resetting your chemistries, resetting even your DNA. Sulfur is a key component of cellular biochemistry. And I'm just guided right now to say thank you to these stones, particularly as sulfur is reaching out to really cleanse your organic processes and restore even your DNA. Just let yourself relax deeper now, deeper into the field, the energy vibrations that these stones set up. Take yourself deeper and deeper.
And we're moving now to ruby zoocyte, a beautiful pink ruby energy stone. This is the wide open heart energy that the stone kingdom brings to us. It's carrying also the vibration of love from the divine, love from source. And even as these stones are deeply powerfully connected to the earth, they are of the earth, this ruby zoocyte in particular reminds us that we have connections to the galaxy as well. And that's powerful in our restoration. So let's just let the gorgeous pink, ruby pink of ruby zoocyte wash through us, reminding us that we have connections from the stars as well as deep into the earth. Open your hearts in divine love for your sky earth connection and to open up towards the other creatures of earth and humanity, especially in this polarized time. Let's really bring our heart energy forward. That's how we're going to make it as a species, bringing forth the best of us. Now we're moving to chrysoprase. And this is also a beautiful heart-centered stone. And it, to me, chrysoprase sings. It's got fairy energy. It's got the music of the spheres. It's tapped into other dimensions. And the stones are great energetic travelers. They are connected from stardust all the way to the deep iron or core of the earth. And chrysoprase is a, a bright singing, light, cheerful stone. And as we reset our field, if you're like me, Sometimes the worries override and it's hard to find the joy and the pleasure and the playfulness. Well, let's just let Chrysoprase bring that back to us. Let her bring us back to that feeling of playfulness. Bringing Chrysoprase, beautiful, beautiful Chrysoprase into our field. play, joy, happy, reset, the reset portion of the rest technique is really to get our fields back, get us back to our beautiful baseline defaults that get gummed up with the craziness of the world. And moving now to blue lace agate. This is another beauty that sings. And it's interesting because it's the blue of the throat chakra. But blue lace agate is an uplifting, it's confident, and it truly does remind us to speak our truth. So feeling that gorgeous blue go through our field. Let's just have that go through our field and restore us to our truth.
We got a little fuzz going on in this webcam, but stay in the energetics. Let's just keep the deepening. Keep the deepening. And we're moving now to do mortar right. Crazy long name. But look at this beautiful silvery shards of blue with some indigo in it. And do mortarite is really about divine connection, but it's solid. It's a solid grounded connection to divine. Other stones may lift us into the angel realm. Do mortarite can connect you, but it's got a little more solidness in my, the way I feel it compared to, say, if you had a piece of crystal or a smoky topaz, you might hit the angel realm on a lighter, floaty vibration. Do mortarite is not really floaty, but don't mistake that for lack of power. Do mortarite, feel that indigo go through your field. Just feel that. And so far, you know that your field has been reset. We'll just quickly recapitulate here. The creativity and power of red jasper. The kundalini energy of wolfenite. The cellular and organic restoration of sulfur. Opening your heart wide with ruby zoocyte and singing, singing your soul song with chrysoprase. Standing in your power to speak your truth with blue lace agate and connecting to the divine in a solid human way with do mortarite. And let's just go now here to Chara White. Beautiful, beautiful violet energy. Activating the crown chakra. and pulling in the violet energy of the Ascended Masters and asking that violet to go through your field, restoring your body, your cells, your vibrations with the power of the Ascended Masters. This is violet flame energy this is the royalty of the Christ consciousness. Feel that violet infuse your field. Just bringing violet into your field. And those have covered the colors of the chakras, but we have one more in our reset. And this stone, see the beautiful silver shards? This is seraphonite, as in the cerebim and cherubim. This is high power, angelic power, with those shards of silver, it's kind of a very powerful manifesting stone. It's a very powerful creating stone and an amazing cellular healer. 
And those shards are kind of like, I see them as the lightning bolts as source downloads energy to us. So take seraphonite into your field and just feel that you are restored by the power of the higher beings, electrifying you in a, in a gentle way. But as that download comes through, you're going to reset. Reset your field. Final shooting energies to come through to clear, removing debris, giving juice to the cellular processes that may have been dormant, giving juice to your creative projects that you kind of put on hold. But as we reset your field now, you can step in more fully to your power and how you want to move through in the world. So as we reset, just scan your field and allow the power of red jasper to help you, keep you grounded, keep you safe. The fairy energy of wolfenite activating your creative juices. The cellular healer of sulfur. The heart opening of ruby zoocyte. Just feel that beautiful pink field around you. The reminder to sing your soul song with Chris Aprace and speak your truth with the help of Blue Lace Agate. Bringing in the solidness of divine connection with Du Mortarite. And just let's take a second here to rinse your field once more, rinse it through. Just feel the violet light as if somebody poured a bucket of violet light and airy violet liquid in through your head and let it just wash all the way through. We have called on the Violet Ray Masters through the stone, through the char white. And then of course, the beautiful, beautiful healing power power of download in quick time, like lightning bolts. This is not a slow process of reset. This is happening now in the beautiful wisdom with the help of our stone allies. We are making the transition as we speak. You are being reset as we speak. We're going to take a short break, but please don't leave your meditative space. Please just stay as I bring in our new helpers. We're going to take a short break. Just stay mellow. Stay out of your heads. 
and feel that integration start and we'll break now. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to stay mellow. Now, in the first section of this rest technique, we use the stone helpers to really shift around our field and reset it. And that may have been a little energizing. But now we need to integrate and consolidate. In the second half of this technique that I call the stabilization. And the stones that are helping us here today are serious powerhouses of stabilization for our field. And Brittany, after you had the wolfenite and the fairy energy dancing through for your creativity, these first three stones will be important for you to really lock down the grounding and keep you balanced on the earth. So everyone should probably have a piece of black tourmaline. This is one of my most, I find it to be one of the most powerful, powerful stones. And we're starting the energetics of stabilizing, which is really integrating and locking in the powerful shifts that we did in the first half. And black tourmaline, it can take your excess energy 
It can ground you. It can purify your field. And it can be a massive, solid, dutiful protector. But here we are beginning the locking in and the stabilization to really keep those shifts that we made earlier, keep those going. Feel the power of tourmaline, even the name. To me, it dances, that name dances, and I just know that this is a powerhouse. And then we have bloodstone, and it's called that because I don't know if you can see the little piece of red that's the little spot of red. This gorgeous deep green of the earth. This is a solid, solid earth stone. This is a stone that has kept the walls of protection around you, linked you to the earth, and connected you really to nature, keeping us walking our path in this lifetime and lifetimes beyond. So just feeling bloodstone. Sometimes I see this also as a, this is sort of the metal of all the hard work you've done. This is the badge of courage. As we're stabilizing our field now, integrating it. Just feel the solidness go through you from crown to root chakra flowing through you stabilizing that power of life force that we had restored earlier. And then we move to copper, which may not seem like anything but a, just one of the elements, but copper brings the divine femininity. And that's something that we, everybody talks about we're out of balance. Well, this is really, really bringing us in balance with feminine. We do have a masculine stone here and a couple of more, but we really are going to keep that maternal, loving, protective restoration of the feminine, stabilizing us in our internal divine union of masculine and feminine. And then we have bronzite. And if you ever get a piece of it, it looks like a mocha color, but it's very sh like little shimmers of golden flecks. And when I was working with this beautiful stone with two women I do meditation with, I was told very clearly, and so I want you to feel this, the power of the stabilization that bronzite can bring you. Feel it, see Merlin standing before you, the great Druid elder, and see him holding his staff, his staff of power. And as he lifts the staff and hammers down, pounds the earth once for claiming the power, bronzite gives me that energy. So in your stabilization, feel the power of Merlin's staff as it pounds the earth once, declares your space declares your soul purpose, declares your power. Let bronzite bring you that declaration.
And now we move to Tiger Iron. And this is, do you see the red streaks in it? So this is a stone to stabilize your body fluids, to stabilize your blood, the iron in your cells. Iron, which is a key component of your energy making processes inside each cell. Tiger iron, giving you that cellular sustenance. Beautiful stone, powerhouse as well. All of these are amazing powerhouses. Let them stabilize you, locking in your soul signature in your earthly body. And this is tiger eye. This is, see the golden streaks? This is a reminder to bring in the power of the solar, to bring in the sun, the great central sun, the golden light. Let that light add to your stabilization. So just in quick recapitulation, tourmaline, protecting, purifying, seriously grounding you. You are stable. You are reset. Bloodstone. Marking the courage that you've shown in your walk through the human life. Copper, restoring the balance of the divine feminine, recognizing we all have divine feminine and masculine, bringing us in balance. Bronzite, as the great druid Merlin declares your place, declares your soul purpose declares your soul vibration. Tiger iron, rejuvenating and restoring your blood, your circulation, your life force inside your cells. Tiger eye, bringing in the golden rays of the great sun lighting up our path ahead of us. And now we move to interesting. I didn't realize we had Merlin here twice. This is Merlinite. And there's little silvery shards in there. It looks like an unassuming stone, but don't be fooled. This is a powerful cellular transformer, shamanic transformer. This is a stone of manifestation and creation. Merlinite. Again, I just feel that ancient wizard, Merlin, unbelievably spiritual being, able to manifest, power to create, very tapped in. Bring Merlinite in to stabilize you. And we move to another dark stone that might fool you at first. Again, one of these that you're never sure. This is Numite. This again, very powerful shamanic stone. So let's just feel it help stabilize you. And the stabilization is more than just integrating and consolidating. It's really getting you ready for your next steps on your path in the world. This whole rest technique is to really reset you and stabilize you so you can move forward. You have so many gifts to bring as you are bringing them. So hopefully 
with this clarity and restoration of these beautiful stone helpers, you can now step forward more fully, more empowered, able to bring more and more and more of you forward. And just feel that beautiful nomite. Feel the recognition that you can transform the world. Everything you bring forward shifts. Shifts for us all. And I know so many of us feel that we're not worthy or we don't have enough to give or who are we this beautiful shamanic powerhouse of nomite is reminding you you have unique abilities from your energy signature to your soul purpose to your human talents and that you are bringing them forward in a bigger way we need bigness. Our humanity needs to evolve now. And you guys are doing it. With your reset and stabilization, you are truly, truly moving forward in beautiful way. So I brought in a powerhouse that is not quite the druid elder shamanic manifester, but it is one of the best download abilities. This is kyanite. And for those of you who have ever used the Book of Stones, Robert Simmons and Naisha Aishen, they call this the inner bridges. I see this very much like shards of download energy. This is inspiration. This is the whisper that the angels whisper to you or your guides or the higher beings whisper in your ear. This is the electrified wisdom that floats in. Maybe it just feels like a breeze. Maybe you get a knowing in, in your gut or your heart. Maybe you get a word. Maybe you hear a little voice. Kyanite is how spirit speaks to us. So just know as you're stabilizing and integrating everything we've done this evening, the voice of spirit is still speaking and is reaching you even more strongly. So just feel that, that place where you individually hear spirit talking to you and just feel that being amplified and opened, locked in, in greater power. And let's just spend our last few moments really feeling in our fields the transitions and transformations we made this evening. Let's just recapitulate the beautiful reset stones and how they brought the energies. And I'll just use the colors to remind us, brought the energies through our field tonight. We had a red of jasper. We had an orange of wolfenite. We had the sun yellow of sulfur. 
our heart chakra energy was shared by the beautiful pink of ruby zoocyte and the gorgeous dancing green of chrysoprase. We're reminded as we bring the blue light through our field, time to really speak our truth and don't hold back. The world needs you. Feel the inspiratory power, grounded power of do more to right. And the beautiful angelic violet ray of char white. And we stabilize with tourmaline, bloodstone, reminding us of the medals we've earned in our journey this lifetime. Balancing our feminine and masculine with copper. Declaring our space, declaring our value in the world with bronzite. Stabilizing even our circulation and cellular components with tiger iron and bringing in the golden light of tiger eye. Merlinite for our shamanic transformation. Namite for bringing in the incredible power of the magic, the power of that energies of complete restoration and stabilization. And kyanite reminding us to open our ears or our feeling or our seeing or our knowing to source so we can be guided forward. You are important to the world. You are powerful. You have a unique voice and purpose and every individual, every one of you is needed. Every one of you matters to transform our earth. So let's take our last few moments with gratitude, gratitude for our stone helpers, gratitude to our connection with spirit, with the sky, the galaxy, with the earth. We are unique and powerful as that holy trinity of human balanced between heaven and earth. We're going to close out tonight. Stay mellow if you want to. Come back and listen to this archived again. Gratitude to you for everything you do for the world. And sending the energy of the stone helpers with you tonight. Call on them whenever you need them. They literally are here for you to work with you. And we're going to close out now. I'm Doc Martin and stone blessings to all of you with deepest love from the earth and the helpers and the beings. 
and good night. You've been listening to Maximum Medicine Radio with Doc Martin. Tune in next time while the doc talks health, spirituality, and the impact your beliefs have on every part of who you are, body and soul. Doc Martin unpacks the challenges we face as human beings and teaches callers to open the door between the scientific and the mystical. To learn more about Doc Martin and Maximum Medicine, visit www.sharonmartinmd.com.